Katherine Storing, your confidence building coach here. I am super excited to bring this video to you today because it was a lesson that I learned just today and I feel that it was uh, important enough that I'm going to interrupt the, uh, the schedule that I have um, for my topics for every week and I just feel like, you know what, I have to share it with the, uh, this with you today because it is that good. Um, a friend of mine has been badgering me because there's no other word. She's been pushing me to go ice skating with her. And I have uh, this nice skating rink really close to where I live and we live, uh, her and my friend and I live really close to each other. So for the whole year, she's been asking me, asking me, can we go, can we go? And I didn't want to go. Well, today was the last day for open skating. So I knew that I had to say yes because she's been asking me for so long, so I had to go. Now, I have to tell you that I tried ice skating last year, and you know those people that when they go ice skating, they hold on to the wall and they just go around and giving those very careful little you know steps? And that was me last year. I did not have a good time. I was freezing. It was just not good. I did not have a good time. I didn't think, I didn't get what the big deal was about it, so never tried it again. Fast forward to today, my friend is pushing me, she really wants to go, so finally, so she would leave me alone, I said, okay, we'll go. We go, we're walking into the ice skating rink, I'm getting the anxiety, I'm like, what's gonna happen? Now, you guys know, I'm from the Caribbean, we don't have ice, you know, uh, back there, so ice and me and ice skating, you know, not something that I'm familiar with, but because I promised her, and we already drove there, and I was already there, I was gonna do it, right? But I, I was thinking that it was not gonna be fun, and it was gonna be just like the other time. Anyway, we get our ice case, we walk to the thing, to the uh, rank, we take pictures, and as you can see, I took a picture, and then we started doing it. And of course, my friend who said who hasn't, who hadn't done it in a long time, she takes off and she's fine, you know, like, a, you know, like she's always done it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, you were supposed to hold my hand, what's gonna happen? So she just takes off and I proceed to go back to what I knew, which was holding on to the wall because that was safe. And then I kept telling her, come on, you have to come back. And I just felt ridiculous. Um, I didn't want to do it that way. Finally, she comes around and she gives me a little lesson. You have to kick. Now, I'm not getting the whole kick and sideways. And there's just too many instructions. And on top of that, I have to worry about not falling on my behind, which was my biggest concern ever was not falling on my behind. But anyway, finally she says, okay, she gives me the lessons. I'm trying, I, I'm trying and holding on on the wall. Finally, she's like, okay, you have to let go of the, the wall and you have to move a little bit away from the edge so you can actually, you know, have skate space and stuff. So she's like, I'm gonna give you my hand, my arm actually. And so we try that and I'm still not getting it. I'm still holding on and finally, little by little, I get more confident and I can see that, wow, you know, I have let go of this safety net that was actually crippling me because it was keeping me so close to the, to the wall and I trusted my friend that her arm was gonna be there for me and we ice skated and I'm doing it with her arm, of course, holding on to her and I'm not saying that I was like a figure skater and it was beautiful to watch, but I was doing it and as I'm doing it, I'm getting more confident I'm getting more cocky and guess what happened? I'm doing it and I fell down. And it was not the worst thing in the world. I thought I was gonna be humiliated, I was gonna break something. Guess what? Nothing happened. I actually broke out laughing because I don't know why, I just thought it was hysterical. So there I was thinking that I needed to hold on to the wall, that if I fell, it was gonna be the worst thing ever and all my fears turned out to be nothing. And I think that was such an amazing metaphor for life. Sometimes we walk around with so many fears and that's why I named the video the way I did because we have so many fears and we have to finally let go of whatever fear. You can have fear of, you know, blank, whatever it is. And sometimes it's fear of branching out, fear of failure, fear of trying something new, fear, I see all the time, fear of trying color, trying, um, outfits and cuts that are gonna be more flattering to you and are gonna show off your body in a nice way. We all have fears of different things. And I just wanted to tell you today that sometimes your fear is worse than what you think is going to happen. Like in my mind, I build up 
the fear that if I fell, it was gonna feel really awful. It was people gonna laugh at me. I was gonna break my arm, and I didn't want any of that. So I built that up. When in reality, when it happened, it was not a big deal. I fell, I feel fine, I got up, and I kept doing it, and it was awesome. I cannot wait to do it again. I'm even looking at other ice skating rinks so I could do it because I realized that it can be fun, but I had to overcome my fear. And that doesn't mean that I did not feel fearful. I did, but I did it anyway. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. The two things, sometimes the fear or the outcome that you think of what's going to happen is bigger than the actual thing. And two, that when you're afraid of something, you don't have to deny that you're afraid. You have, just have to acknowledge, yes, I am fearful, I'm worried this is going to happen. However, I am going to move forward anyway. And isn't that what life is all about? Feeling fear and moving forward anyway. It is a beautiful thing. I hope that you take um, my lesson and apply it to your own life because I am sure there is something going on in your life right now that you're afraid of. You're afraid of leaving an abusive relationship, leaving a job that is killing you little by little every day, or maybe fear of moving out on your own and, and getting your own place, or maybe starting that business that you know is gonna be so awesome and that people, people's lives are going to change. You have a fear of something. I don't know what it is because, you know, I don't know you. I cannot actually see you, but I know. Because like me, this is just one of the fears that I had and I was able to conquer that fear today. I'm so glad. But today, can you take an inventory of all your fears? Maybe you can write it down and say, okay, uh, whatever your name is, and say, okay, Catherine, what is true about this fear? Am I making this up? Do I have actual evidence of this, that this is actually going to happen, that I'm gonna fall down and I'm gonna break my leg or my arm, or that's gonna be the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And then you'll be able to see, and then, okay, is it worth finding out? That's the other thing. You might wanna find out for yourself because somebody else's experience is not gonna be your experience, only your experience. Look fear in the eye and say, you know what? Yes, I acknowledge that you're here, but you have no control over me. Get rid of your fears once and for all. Look at them in the eye and say, thank you for being here. I am moving forward anyway. If you wanna have more information about what I do, how I help people, how I coach them forward to look amazing uh, from the inside and the outside, you can head over to katherinestoring.com and there you can watch all my crazy videos and I have lots of tips for you. Um, and it's a great fun place to look at pictures and videos and just get acquainted with what I do and how I help people. I hope that uh, what you read and watch there will help you and inspire you as well. Can't wait to see you again.